everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Decades Challenge. I am currently snuggling little Gus Gus. He is on my lap. <laughs> so if you see me moving around a lot, it is because my cat refused to not be with me today. So today we're going to be focusing on Anna and Theo and I am so excited because it has been way too long since we've hung out with them. I have quite a lot planned for today so I'm super excited. So I hope you all are too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. Let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. you breakfast fresh coffee and bagels too a new day is waiting for us we got lots of fun stuff to do so as you can see we are at the property that Anna and Theo moved into when they first moved to Hollywood they have been signed on to a TV show called I Love Anna and it is really exciting because of the fact that Anna has worked a really long time in her life to try to achieve what she's ow don't bite me she has worked really long and hard to work her way up so I'm super excited that they are finally uh, where they want to be um, if you look at the panel here for their skills you can see that I have gone ahead and worked on certain things that I think that they would be maxed out at this point so she has level 10 acting charisma comedy and level 5 dancing I also gave her level 5 woohoo because I feel like her and Theo enjoy woohooing quite a bit she is a silver screen icon and she also has level 5 celebrity global superstar um, and of course we have cute little Patsy who is doing really good she is um, a high school or she is a great um, grade school a student and she is level 7 in mental and 3 in creativity 3 in motor and 2 in social I'm actually going to change her aspiration because I don't think that she would really care about social. I think she is more of a whiz kid. So I'm actually going to go ahead and send everybody to sleep because in the morning uh, we have the family. Um, Theo and Anna have to go to work. I downloaded the uh, reality TV mod again because I thought it would be really cute for like showing that they were working on a TV set. So I'm pretty excited about that. But um, as you can see, she wants to puke. And the reason for that is because um, Anna is actually eating for two. She is pregnant. Uh, her and Edward have, or her and uh, Theo have been trying for another baby. Now that their lives are settled, he's back from war. Even though they both really wanted fame. Oh, poor girl. Can you bring her some comfort? Can you try to make her feel better? And come clean up uh, the toilet after her. Um, after Theo got back from war, obviously, you know, the whole TV show swept them up right away. They didn't really have a lot of time to kind of think about anything. And, you know, they're finally in a place where things are going really well. But I think because of Theo's experience in the war, even though he still cares about fame, unlike Edward, his uh, appreciation for family and for different things in life definitely changed. Um, like before, all he really cared about was making money and becoming famous. Whereas now, I think he has a more balanced view of what is important to him. So, uh, little Patsy's off to school and I'm actually going to have Theo contact his PR agency because they are supposed to be filming a live show today for a lot of people. <laughs> and so he just wants to make sure that everything is in place for the big day. So we're going to have them request a good story. So you got it, Theo. We just ran a phony positive story on you and Sims are gobbling it up. Your reputation should see an immediate boost. <laughs> <laughs> so both of them have made sure that you know everybody is getting you know the good reviews for their show so they will show up to the live taping of the I love Lucy episode or I the I love Anna episode which I think is so cute I'm gonna get Anna and Theo to uh, where is it here 
plan a social event and we are going to do the Kawhi Stacy uh, reality TV mod. So here it is, film a custom show. You can now film your own reality show. Now this is a little bit modern, but I thought it still kind of fit the fact that there's movie stars and they're filming a TV show. This show will be live and last three days, and during those days you will earn fame, money, and of course followers. Cast members will also be able to gain fame for keeping the viewers entertained with romance, comedy, and most importantly, drama. So obviously they're super famous already, um, but we're going to have obviously Anna and Theo as their cast, and we need a camera crew. We will hire a couple for that. Uh, children cast um, so Patsy does go to a Hollywood school so she probably goes to school with quite a few uh, children actors um, so I'm just gonna invite a few of them look at little Georgie she's so cute so we're gonna go ahead and it's going to be at the movie studio I am so excited I marked it as generic and it wouldn't come up as a lot that I could choose so I changed it to retail and it worked so there's probably going to be a lot of random people, but that's okay. It's a live taping, so the more people that show up, the better. So we have just arrived. I have so many of your sims here. Oh, look, Anna dressed up in her um, breakfast at Tiffany's outfit. Oh my gosh, why is she not the, why is she the cutest thing? And look at her little baby bump. I'm so excited. And, oh, Theo, he knows what he's doing. And then he looks really short. I'm going to have to make him taller. We have got the beautiful uh, Marilyn Baker, who uh, Sam Wise made for us. We have um, Alonso. Who are you? You're a conspiracy theorist. Cast member Franklin Edge. We have Carson Gassette. I know uh, there's going to be even more showing up. So if you didn't see the last episode where I showed this lot, this is... Um, uh, the lot that I built, I downloaded one off the gallery and I completely um, changed it to make it how I needed it to look. Uh, but I basically went ahead and I recreated the sets from the TV show I Love Lucy from what I could see on Google to match. So this is like their main living room set and I put some markers on the floor so they can do um, acting actions. And then I have like all these different set pieces here and then this here is the cute little like marital room where they didn't share bed beds back then so there's some markers here and here and then like a cute little vanity where Lucy used to always do her makeup so Anna's gonna do her makeup so it's pretty cool we actually have Evangeline Cornwell I believe this is Rena Sim she just showed up as a cast member so ooh, here's one of I I can't remember I think here's some more of your sims we have Lynn Moore who is a teen part of the cast uh, I also had Madison Gibbs who needs to be invited um, needs to be aged up at some point oh uh, this is oh he looks a little mad but this is Kenneth Parker another one of your sims so everybody is showing up it is so 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 exciting so the main goal of the event is the main goal of your event is to get to know the cast members. So obviously these two are the, you know, headers. Oh my gosh, her little baby bump grew again. Oh my gosh, here's Joseph Lyons. He is one of the team cast members and is so handsome. I, um, I'm going to have her take selfies. I'm going to have her sign autographs. Look at her dancing, even with her big baby bump. She's like, it's no big deal, really. These two are so cute. Um, but yeah, since they're like the main header stars that headline the show, it makes sense that they would like be, you know, trying to accommodate, make everyone happy. They love performing, so they're like, this is what we want to see on set, you know, getting to know the cast. Oh, look, Marilyn Monroe is even fangirling over Anna. <laughs> In reality, it would be the complete opposite, let's be honest. Here is Lynn Moore. She is so cute. And we have, this is John Hawley. This is uh, Daniel's son. And we have the camera crew. So I am actually going to have um, Anna come over here. And she is going to go ahead and do a risky joke. 
and some risky singing and then we are also going to have um oh look he can play the theme song i'm gonna have uh theo play some music okay so these two are getting their first scene ready so she's telling jokes to the tv and over here theo is working on his guitar Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> oh, looks like she's doing a scene with Joseph Lyons. That's so cute. I'll have her try to... Uh, look, she's singing while he plays... Oh! <laughs> I'm guessing that didn't go the way you wanted. <laughs> oh no, and she's choking! <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely been a messy day at the studio. That is so funny. So we have to get to know all of the cast members. So we've got to know Joseph, who is so ridiculously cute. I just love him. And over here, it looks like we've got two people filming a scene. We've got Kenneth Parker working on a scene, and we've also got Carson. So I think I'll have Theo come over and do a friendly introduction to both of the cast members. So that way we can do the getting to know our cast. So Theo is talking to some of the new cast members, probably going to run some lines with them. Here, we'll have them perform an action scene together. There we go. So they're going to practice their action scene. <laughs> they're both nervous. It's like, don't worry, kid. You got this. I'm right here. I'll be able to teach you. And uh, the other lady in the shot, I'm pretty sure, is uh, the director. Well, I was like, are they fighting? But I'm like, oh, no, they're practicing. Oh, look, they're like, thank you. Ooh, we made money from that. Score. Now, one thing I saw, which is super cool, when I was, um, um, I was leveling up um, Anna's skills, we now have the, the ability to create our own uh, squad, I think it's called. Um, it's on her phone here. Summon squad. Yeah, so we don't have a squad yet. So I thought we should try to assign squad members for Anna. So I thought it would be kind of fun to find a different uh, famous Sims. Like obviously I think Marilyn Monroe will for sure be a part of Anna's squad. Oh, I think I, she's over here. They're both in the chair. She's like, you're fabulous, I'm fabulous. So I think really we should be fabulous together. Would you like to like be a part of my squad? And like Marilyn would be like, well, yeah, ask to badmouth, make Marilyn, ask to praise. Oh my God, that is so bad. Uh, let's go ahead now that we've introduced herself. So we'll need a few more people to join our squad. Uh, Patsy just finished school, so I'm going to have her um, come to the set. You know, her bodyguards would pick her up and be like, Miss Patsy, Miss Patsy, they're working real late tonight, honey. You're going to have to come to the set. Did she um, become one of our squad members? I think she's a part of our squad. Oh my god, we hate each other. <laughs> well, it's all about having fake squad members, right? So what does it say here? So Anna thinks that Marilyn is in dreamland. And Marilyn thinks that she is egocentric. On first impression, this Sam appears egocentric to a fault. That is true, but you guys are going to become besties. <laughs> okay, so we've had some scenes performed. This little cutie just arrived at the set. And I would really like her to meet Daniel's kids. So I'm going to have her come over and do a friendly introduction to uh, little Katie. Yay! And then we can have her ask... Go friendly introduction with this little cutie Harold and I know his other everyone has to go bathroom I really should get a toilet here I'm like whatever y'all can pee it's for TV someone's losing their bladder control oh sorry hopefully that gets us some good points though 
Look at us sitting in the chair. Did we meet him? John. Okay, good. So what is our first impressions with the kiddos? I don't think the first impressions mod works for the kids, unfortunately. But she's made a few little friendos. I really wanted her to meet the two. Ah, here's one of them. She's supposed to have blonde hair. So I think the game's just bugging out. But these are the two girls I wanted her to meet. These are her neighbors. Their father is actually a scientist. Um, and he is one of the Sims that um, they are part of a family that you, one of you made. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to have her introduce herself to both of the girls. And then I'm going to send her home. They both look sad. <laughs> but I want to make sure that she meets both of them. Okay, good. So I'm just going to go on to the gallery here quickly. So on the gallery, this is the 1950s family. They were created by Hawkeye Tardis, and they are really cute. Uh, we have Jean, we have Doug, we have Elise, we have Grace, and we have Mr. Wiggles. And I went ahead and I made Doug a scientist, and they are neighbors with um, Patsy and her family. So they are super cute. So I wanted to make sure that she met these girls at the very least. The event is pretty much almost over, um, but we made a bunch of little friends for her. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the event. I think it went really well. So I would say that went pretty well. Oh, she's sad because she had shared sadness with someone she cares about. She is in her second trimester with her little babby. And we have Marilyn in our uh, squad. I'm so excited about the squad. I'm like, I need to make a bunch of squad members. Nellie had the OG squad, if you, squad, if you remember. Now, I think this could be the nursery because it's connected to their sister's room. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a little nursery, at least get the cradle. I don't know if she's having a boy or a girl yet. So we will just make it kind of generic. I want it to be like, I want this whole house to be super modern. But like modern in a vintage way, you know? There we go, and we'll just make it white for now. So at least we have somewhere for her to give birth when she pops. I wanted to get uh, little cutie pie Patsy a science table. Since she is super into astrology, she really loves uh, learning about the stars and about space. She's so interested in it, and I just think that would be something really cool for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her the um, little science kit and I'm probably gonna do it outside just because there's such a risk of a fire that I don't really want the house to grow on fire she can set the grass on fire <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let these two go to sleep and we will catch back up with them when it is time for Anna to give birth Alrighty, so it is the middle of the afternoon on the next day. We currently have her in her third trimester and her and Theo are sunbathing together in their pool. And I think that is so cute that they are finally able to relax and enjoy their success. And look at the view, like come on, this is just beautiful. I don't know why there's grass in the sky. <laughs> but there is. Anyways, um, it is pretty cool. This is actually where the family I was telling you about, they live there and I think, or no, they might live over here actually. And I think Marilyn Baker lives there, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, they're definitely enjoying their time together and hopefully she will go into labor soon. She's probably thinking about like the fact like, oh, I hope that they have a boy and that they'll be able to you know you'll be able to have a son to carry on your name and <laughs> let's be honest I don't think little Patsy really has an interest in pursuing the family business and Theo's gonna be like yeah she definitely has a big brain that kiddo um, I love though that just because um, their daughter isn't really interested in acting that that doesn't upset them like they're more like you know because they're such dreamers themselves, they're more like, you do whatever you want to do, as opposed to them being like, oh, you have to do what we did, which I think is such a healthy mindset. Like, I get so angry when parents 
feel the need to like force kids to like do what they did. Like let you, <gasps> look at this guy sneaking paparazzi on our property with our pregnant wife. We didn't want it leaked that our wife is expecting. Come on, Theo. Oh, he got burned, oops. Yeah, he definitely got a suntan. <laughs> I need him to fight. Taking pictures of my pregnant wife, how dare you? Oh, I'm so mad at him. How dare this guy sneak? Look, she doesn't even budge. She's still sleeping. I want her to uh, get up, though, because I don't want her to get a burn. Is she able to put um, some sunscreen on? <laughs> I should really get going now. Yeah, did we win the fight? Um, triumphant! Good for you protecting your wife. Wow, he sure got quite the sunburn. So, uh, little cutie just got home and she's super tense and needs amusement. So I thought I would have her come experiment. Maybe um, playing on her little science set will make her happy because she needs amusement, but she's a genius. So I'm hoping that she will have this be something that will, um, she'll find fun. Look at her in her cute little outfit. Is this helping her amusement go up? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So, our future scientist, rocket space explorer, is playing with her little science kit. She is so sweet. Um, I think she should be okay. Aww, look at them giving kisses. She's Even though she's pregnant, she always looks fabulous. But this is her, like, comfortable outfit in comparison. She's really big. I'm really scared that she has twins in her. But I love how, like, this is her, like, comfort her comfortable outfit she's coming she's coming over to check on little Patsy she wants to chat with Patsy I love that we can go friendly we can ask about her day and we can go um, ask about school she's like how is school honey she's normally so pale she's got such a tan going Aw, it looks like Patsy. She keeps getting the diaper over her head. I think she's really excited to be a sister. Um, alrighty, so I just got the notification that Anna is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. She is in labor, so we will go ahead and go over to the baby crib and um, finally give birth. I'm gonna have Theo come here. Is he doing the pre-parental panic? Yeah, he is. It's like, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I really wanted this. It's my fault. <laughs> Anna's like, you better be there, you little turkey. Aw, Anna is having a baby. I'm so excited. I love having babies in The Sims because then I never have to do it in real life. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to name the kid. Um, hurry up and pop it out. I need to know what we've got. It's a boy! I'm so happy! Okay, so I'm gonna just name the boy Male Dempsey for now, and everybody needs to leave their name suggestions in the comments below. That way, we will be able to um, get all your name suggestions, and we will name the baby in the next episode. So exciting! We got a little baby! Okay, only one. I was a little worried. She got really big. There's little male Dempsey. Theo, Theo's uh, genes will live on. I'm so excited. You can go ahead and feed your baby. I feel like she'd be the type of mom. Look, she's stale surroundings. Materialistic sims get a little tense after they haven't bought and admired things. Well, don't worry. You're about to spend a lot of money renovating your new home, Mrs. Anna. But you can go ahead and take care of your little babby. And I'm going to wake up little Patsy. And she's going to come in. Oh, she has to go pee. Okay, I'll let her go pee first. Uh, but then I want her to come meet her brother. There you go. Come over here and meet your little brother. Aww, she's so cute with him. Look, he's <laughs> laughing. She's meeting her new sibling. Oh, she would not be sad. She was all excited about that. That's that's a lie. Okay, they're getting a bad... 
Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here. If you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and like I said, leave your name suggestions in the bottom bar. And until next time, I'm gonna say bye for now.